Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my review on the new Billie Eilish fragrance. So I'm going to go over packaging first, then I will go over the notes and then some comparisons at the end. So this is a 3.4 fluid ounce eau de parfum and here is the box and then here is a closer look at the bottle. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I, I enjoy kind of weird, funky bottles. So when I actually saw this one, I wasn't crazy about it. I don't know why. It just didn't really interest me. But it's actually nicer in person. It's almost like you're getting a little award. But it is a little awkward. It is a little heavy, too. This is, this is hefty, and it's kind of hard to open. So it's definitely like a display piece, I would say. Now, this fragrance is marketed towards everybody. Everyone can wear this fragrance. This has no gender is how she wanted everyone to look at her fragrance. It's for everyone. And the idea behind the bottle is just that she really enjoys the human body and she likes necks and collarbones and shoulders. So that was the idea behind the shape of this bottle. And this retails for $68 and then you do pay for shipping. And then I believe some states you have to pay for tax. I had to pay tax. So altogether, this cost me $83.25. But again, that will vary because I saw that some people didn't have to pay tax. That is a little hefty to me for a celebrity fragrance. I will say the newer ones are kind of that that dollar range that sixty dollar range jlo her newest one was i think in that sixty dollar range ariana grande but i was a little surprised to see that ten dollar uh shipping cost so that's what i got hung up on this is currently sold out but they are planning on bringing it back really soon let's go over what this perfume is described as this perfume is described as vanilla sweet warm spicy cacao amber powdery musky woody and fruity this has top notes of sugar red berries mandarin orange middle notes of vanilla cacao spicy notes rose and base notes of tonka bean musk amber and woody notes i did wear this the last four days so i got this tuesday sprayed it right away tested it out and I was a little disappointed by the scent. I just found it to be, you guys know I don't mind my basic perfumes. I own a lot of basic perfumes. I like mass, mass appealing scents, but this to me is a very, very linear vanilla cacao fragrance. Now everyone's nose is different. I don't really get a lot of the notes. If anything, I get a little bit of the red berries in the opening but it's not like a fruity red berry. It's almost like if you like if you went to the store and picked up like a raspberry dark chocolate. That kind of scent. That's what this opened up with for me in the beginning. And then as this dries down, it becomes very much a vanilla cacao scent on, on me. I don't really get too much of anything else. I get a little bit of musk and there's a little bit of warmth from the amber. I don't know if it's the musk mix them with the cacao i'm not too keen on this fragrance like it, it's not bothersome i think the vanilla in here is really nice it's a very simple not anything too nauseating if you are a gourmand lover or someone who really enjoys vanilla i think you might really like the scent also if you like like cacao you might also enjoy this scent as well I knew that it was going to be gourmand. That's what she wanted. She wanted something sweet and gourmand. But I was hoping to get more of the spicy notes, but my nose didn't pick up on the spicy notes. This is a very vanilla cacao scent is all I can say. There, there isn't too much to say about it. It's just kind of linear in my opinion and inoffensive. I wouldn't say it's overly young. I would say it's definitely a perfume for any age just because it is kind of that gourmand vanilla scent. It's not like some of the other celebrity fragrances that tend to be a little bit more bubblegummy, a little bit more fruity, a little bit more girly. This is a true gourmand. It does come off just a little bit synthetic but a lot of perfumes in my opinion do so it's gonna be mass appealing but there are gonna be a lot of people who will be let down by this scent just because this one doesn't have a lot of depth so this one was compared to Kayali's vanilla 28 I saw people compare it to fresh warm cashmere angel muse so I did spray a few of these and I would say Kayali's vanilla 28 is more boozy warm cashmere 
it's a little bit more on the cozy warm sweet side but i i pick up more of the musk and other base notes kind of grounding those perfumes and then angel muse is the patchouli yeah this smells nothing like that one when i sprayed this it did remind me of something but not because they smelled the same but i definitely can pick up the cacao and vanilla that's in good girl again they don't smell the same but if you stripped away a lot of the notes in good girl this one just develops and has a little bit more depth but i would say that that's what this reminded me of at initial spray again they don't smell the same i just the cacao that i can pick up and the vanilla and the musk is the same that i pick up in this one that one has more going on to it it's got other notes and this one is again vanilla sweet and kind of chocolatey i kind of wish that again i could pick up on the spicy notes and a little bit more on the orange and red berries but the red berries for me is just kind of like if again if you took like a ghirardelli chocolate bar that's like a raspberry one and turned it into powder that's what this smells like it's not like a natural fruity it's not like a fruity red berry longevity on this i got about four hours when i spray this it projects for about an hour and it's not far it's still like in your bubble because i did have my friend smell this and dennis i had to kind of get close to them and then the perfume lasted for about four hours and i did like the overnight test where i tested it out and when i woke up i couldn't smell it i had to put my nose to my skin and when i did that i i could smell it but i could not smell it anywhere around me i had to actually put nose to skin so it lingers on your skin and you still have like this sweetness but it's not noticeable after that four hour mark on on my skin but yeah that is my review of the new Billie eilish fragrance still not sure if i'm going to be keeping this one just because it is a little linear and i don't know if i want something this chocolatey like it's like i go back and forth so i don't know if it's one i'm going to keep because I do go back and forth with it, but I, I hope it gets to stores so people could actually test it out because I do feel like it's gonna be a kind of love-hate situation where a lot of people will like it and there's going to be people who find it a little too basic and not really anything too complex, which is fine. I have a lot of basic perfumes in my collection, but I tend to go more for like fruity florals and more of your everyday scent. When it comes to gourmand, I do like to have just a little bit more of like musk or woodsy notes. I like a little bit more of something to ground the perfume. And this one to me is just a very vanilla cacao scent. I don't know that I need this in my collection. I absolutely love the Kayali Vanilla 28. That one's a little more boozy and I love a warm cashmere so let me know in the comments below did you guys pick up this fragrance and what are your thoughts on it but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys